was up so so i know i told you guys i wanted to do a dorm room tour um and i've been here for about two three days so far okay sorry i thought i heard somebody but yeah i've been here for two three days so far so i decided to record one because i just have some free time today and i just like wiped down vacuum cleaned my room and my roommate's not home so it's perfect timing so i think i'm gonna do a voiceover and i'm sorry if it's shaky i'm recording with my phone and my selfie stick because my tripod It'd be a little less shaky but my tripod kind of fucking sucks with the lighting and the lighting in here is kind of dim the only reason why you can kind of see me right now is because of the window so i'll just start from out there and if you want to see my dorm room let's get straight to it all right so we're just in the bathroom right now we're gonna get started with the tour i know we have a great bathroom but let's get started right over here so the first thing that we have, of course, is our entrance door. It's pretty big. And we have a little peephole right here so we can see all our guests. I'm sure you can see through it with the camera. We have some fire evacuation instructions right here. And then as we go down, we have our door. If you twist it, it automatically opens. So you always have to remember to twist it horizontally to keep it locked. We have a little reminder there to keep our doors locked. And this is just the light for my room. I'm in room A and that's my roommate. She has a light for the same room. This is for the hallway light actually, not our rooms. That light right there. And it's actually um, pretty bright when the bathroom light is turned off. So it's just two of them are on right now. Usually we always keep one on. Then this is our little kitchen area, okay? She has a mat and um, there's some procedure numbers and yeah, our little kitchen. <laughs> so right here, I love how it's color coded. It's just any emergencies, we have a number to call. So the school gave us that. I think it's really cool. It'll come in handy. And under that, we just have our microwave and our mini fridge. It looks a lot bigger in person. Yeah, there's a lot of space. It's a pretty big mini fridge. So we just have a regular classic little microwave. You push the button to pop it open. It has some instructions up top right there. And then we have our beautiful mini fridge. We got some magnets from our RA. Um, and in the freezer, I just have water. My roommate has nothing. In the fridge, I also have water. My roommate has two shelves and I have two shelves. So the water and the little plastic food is mine. And then I just have two oranges over here. Everything else is hers. All the juices and sodas, that's hers. I don't drink soda or anything so all right so then we just have fire extinguisher right here in case anything burns you know and then this is just the thermostat to control if it's hot or cold it kicks in pretty pretty fast so yes and then we just have a little fire alarm and then we can just make our way into our lovely lovely bathroom don't mind me, I look like a bum right now. <laughs> but um, this is my side of the sink. I have my lovely Bath & Body Works Coconut Pumpkin Latte hand soap. It smells so strong. It's like the only thing that I think from them that lasts so long. And um, there's my sink. The water pressure is amazing. That's for hot and that side's for cold. I have an outlet. So does my roommate. That's her side right here. And um, that's just the light switch for the bathroom. It's pretty bright as well. And then we have our lovely light here. So yes, a lot of space. And then we have my cupboard under my sink. So this side is more cleaning and then the other side with my shower caddy is, is more, I guess, my shower caddy. <laughs> so I have some plastic bags. I have the light blue rag, which I use to wipe off any water on my cupboard because I don't like leaving it wet. 
The dark blue one is to deep clean if I'm cleaning the sink or anything, the shower. I have some Clorox wipes, some Febreze, linen and sky, so it always smells fresh in the bathroom. And I don't know why that's on top of my toilet paper, but I always keep one roll under there. The rest I have in my room. I also have some plastic bags back here just for trash. We don't have a trash can, but. And then I have my shower caddy, which I think everybody in college should get. It's so useful. I got that from Target. It was, it was not super cheap, but it's affordable. I keep everything. There's my shower cap, can't go wrong. I have some summer eaves, you know. Don't say no shady shit. I have um, some body wash. This is actually not the best, obviously, because it is from Family Tree, but it's a dollar, and it's just for college, so it keeps me clean, and that is priority, okay? So, cheaper than Bath & Body Works. And this is my little brush from Target. I use this to wash my body with as an exfoliating brush. That is what I use for my private areas, my cooter cat, because I don't use the same rag on my neck and my feet on my privates. This is for my makeup, just to wipe it off. I also have some deodorant, my toothbrush is there, some pimple cream, my toothpaste. I have my Foreo for my face, to wash my face, and of course I have my face soap. And then I have shaving cream, I also have a razor. So literally everything that you would use in the bathroom, you just keep in your shower caddy. I don't have a community bathroom, but it's really helpful. Oh my gosh, I don't like when my brush touches like anything else. I get cringy as fuck. But anyways guys, so let's go into our bathroom. So this is the toilet room actually. And so I don't know if I can lock it from inside. I know on here you have to lock... Um, horizontally to lock it and you have to twist it vertically to make it unlock it's a pretty pretty big toilet area there's a light when you turn on the light the fan automatically turns on as well which is cool and it's a, it's a lot of space we just have a little toilet brush that my roommate bought she also bought the little mat there but I mean we don't need two but it's a good toilet, decent size, pretty clean, so yeah. We need a trash can for the room. We don't have one yet because wipes clog pipes, bitch, so. But all the trash, I usually have a trash can in my room, so. And I have trash bags. Then we have our toilet paper. I just refilled it. All right, so out of the toilet area in the bathroom, Let's make our way to the shower area in the bathroom, if I turn the fuck around. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is the shower area. So I have right here my robes and everything. That's the lock right here. It's a different type of lock. And that is how you lock it from the inside. You just push it in. I don't think my roommate bought this because she doesn't have her towel or anything on here. I think the school provided it. But I just have my little robe here from Fashion Nova. It's kind of short but covers me so I guess it does the job. And my cute towel from Target. I love, love, love the color. And then this is where I generally like will keep my clothes. I don't keep them on the floor. I keep my clothes in there. There's the light. And um the vent turns on as well sorry if it's so zoomed in it's because i'm recording with my phone but this is a shower it's a stand-up shower there's no bathtubs she bought that mat but i don't wet it up because every time i take a shower i always leave my shoes right there yeah so i don't want it to soak up her mat but yeah it's pretty clean we both have shower caddies so nothing's ever left in here i don't leave my shit out and so when i come in i just put my shower caddy on the floor do what i gotta do so and every time i finish taking a shower i like to leave the door a little creaked open so that the water the heat you know humidity can kind of i guess come out the room air out i guess 
So let's go into my room, room A. So this is the biggest room. Me and my roommate both have singles. So room A is the bigger room and room B is the smallest. So this is all to me, you guys. All right, just turning off my light. But yeah, this whole room is for myself, which I love. To be honest, it's a lot of space, but it's good privacy. I didn't do that shit that came <laughs> with the room because I don't know why the fuck they put that right here, but I didn't do that shit right. I am not trying to get charged for nothing, okay? I sent them a picture real early, which is what you should always do when you first move in. Make sure you send them a fucking picture so they don't charge you for shit when you move out. But this is just my mirror right here. Um, this is a hang and storage mirror from Target. So I love it, love it, love it. You just press these buttons on the side right here and it'll open up the mirror. And when you open up the mirror, you have a bunch of hooks and stuff. I just keep all my hats, scarves, gloves in here. Bunch of hooks here, it's the hat my boyfriend got me. And then I keep my gloves down there in the netting. And you just push the button back and it'll stick together. And that's your mirror, it's so cool. And then I have two closets actually. So this is my household closet and this is my clothing closet. So one is for storage for like cleaning products, etc. And then one is for actual clothes. This is the household closet right here. Um, pretty spacey, pretty spacey. Make sure that shit is filled up the rack up there. And then over here, we have just my trash can and my laundry bin, etc. And then on this side, this is just the clothing area. Yes, yeah, so let's start over here actually. So I have the whole rack filled with cleaning stuff. Over here I have some laundry detergent, got from the family tree, $5 for one of those big ass shits. Don't go to Target where it's like 13, 23. Go to Family Tree, bitch. Go to the dollar store. I have some old bleach right here. And I'll probably use that to clean the bathroom. And other bleach. Some laundry sticks right here to get out any stains. Uh, oh my gosh, I just dropped it. <laughs> Anyways, so yes. Back up here. So yes, I have some Tide Pods up here. Even though I have laundry detergent, it doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> to have more I have some dryer sheets and you can tell I'm new to this but <laughs> I have my iron has some water in it and I have some fake Windex from the family tree but it works in a rag to clean my um, glass my mirrors I have toilet bowl cleaner this shouldn't be up here it's for sunburn but hey it's up here and then I have some more Febreze for my room one's in the bathroom one's in my room some Lysol, love Lysol, and some Clorox cleaning wipes to just disinfect my desk, etc. I cleaned down my room with it. And then the rest over here is more of my essentials. There's like hand soaps for me. I keep one out there. When it runs out, I just replace it. I only bought five, which I think should do me well for the school year. But yeah, some hand soaps right here. And then I have some shampoo, some body wash, all $1 body washes from Family Tree. Don't sleep, don't sleep, it's clean, okay? And then that is from Target. This is just a first aid kit in case anything's to happen to me. Has some band-aids, etc. And this, I was so happy to see at Family Tree. Cocoa butter, I love cocoa butter. It's usually really expensive especially that brand, but it was pretty cheap. I don't remember the price, but it wasn't expensive. Then I just have some pads and my toilet paper I keep up here, you know. Every female, don't forget to always carry a bunch of pads and shit. And then right here, I have my handy dandy umbrella, and I just left it tied up on the rack right there in case it ever rains or anything. And then I just have my laundry hamper, my trash can, and my vacuum. Um, the laundry hamper is from Ross, the trash can from the dollar store, and the vacuum is from Target. So let's go to the clothing closet. So 
I have my shoe rack. This is from Target. I think it holds up to 26 pairs. It was right there, but I moved it over here so everything coordinates together. And it holds 26 shoes, so I have a lot of like my flats and flip-flops, some sneakers. I have two empty slots here, but my boots couldn't fit, so I put them on the floor. Just my Uggs and my Timberlands right here. I can hold more shoes, but and then i had 32 fucking hangers and it wasn't enough so i just have um majority of like my sweaters and jackets are hung up right there every other top is in a draw so yeah they're all right here it has a lot of shit okay but it gets cold up here so i need as much as i could and then in between, I have my belts hanging right here. Just an old white belt, a tan and a black belt. Just regular colors because I'm not a really big belt person. And right here, I carry some bags. I don't have that much purses. So this right here was part of my wallet. And I just have a little clutch, a little pink purse right here. I have my safe. Don't try and rob me. I don't have no money or anything. It's just where I can keep all my important stuff like my passport, etc. So I know where it is and it has a lock that is hidden. So, okay. And then right here, we just have nothing on top of here, but this whole dresser is my nighttime underwear dresser it's the dresser that i'll always be going into every day every night the top two shelves are my underwears i have some jaw dividers so my bras are right there some socks and then i have my panties on that side the other floor i put jaw dividers as well so it holds three types and then i have my nighttime clothes here there's an extra swimsuit that couldn't fit so i just put it under here and same thing under there it's just some nighttime clothes pajamas etc house clothes then this right here is my night desk i keep my salt lamp here it's so pretty especially when you turn it on i turn it on every night and it's actually pretty bright in the dark it gives off this orange reddish light so it's more say orange salmon pink looking light um, it actually tastes like salt, don't ask me how I know. But yes, under here, we just have this rag here. This is just to clean off my bottles or anything. It's like a sponge for dishes, basically, for me. Um, I have a plastic bag. It has got more plastic bags and stuff in it, but that's all I had when I first came. So any plastic bags I have with food, when I'm finished, I just put it in there. So under here is just my water bottles. So the first one's from Starbucks, that's from Target. This is from my school. And the last one is from a hotel that my boyfriend brought me for my birthday. And that's all I have right there. Basically like food storage utensils. So this is my desk. I don't know if I wanna show you guys this first or my bed. I think I'll show you guys my bed first. Don't mind my water bottle. <laughs> I'm drinking it, okay? So I love, love, love my bed. I picked out all the sheets. I bought all of the sheets. My mom spread the bed, but I fixed the pillows and everything. I think it's so cute. So I just have my pajamas right here and I have my teddy bear that my boyfriend bought me for Valentine's Day. And yes, I had to bring it with me to school because I sleep with it every night. It's so soft. I don't care what you guys say. All right, I got a man that loves me. Okay, so. <laughs> I have right here everything from Target. Everything I got is from Target. And so this throw blanket right here is from Target. It was expensive. I think it was like $34.99. These sheets, this throw pillow. I love the fur white look. So that's what I was kind of going for. It makes it zhuzh. And so does the like pleated sheets, the pink sheets. I wanted a darker pink, but it actually came out exactly how I wanted it to. And I just have two white pillowcases. The pillows itself also was from Target. And I just have a black and a pink one. So I love, 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 love how it looks. And then I just have a black sheet under there. So 
Um, this is just my electric station, okay? I have my little outlet right here. My Apple Watch is charging. That's my phone charger. Um, there have a lot of outlets, but this helps to have it on my desk. I have my salt lamp charging right here. I turn it on as well at nighttime, so both of them stay on. And I just have my headphones. So in this drawer is my food cabinet. So I have bought like some Cheeto puffs and I had bought some gum, but all these chips here are actually from a barbecue my school was giving and I took eight bags. And tell like listen to me you guys, like you have to take as much shit if you get the opportunity because guess what? You're gonna have to be buying everything else unless you're gonna run up your meal plan. You're gonna have to get some snacks and shit, so stock up on that whenever you get the opportunity to you guys i have some lays doritos i haven't ate anything yet but i made sure to get as much chips as i fucking could okay so whenever you get the opportunity and you see some chips or cookies and packages you guys take them home save them for your snacks all right yeah i'm just rambling about that <laughs> But anyways, let's close that right down here. Don't have anything in here. Maybe I'll put like cases of water down here when I get some more. Because my roommate was trying to give away water to her guests without even asking me for my water. So this straw right here is just all of my tops, extra tops. So it looks a mess, but everything is folded. It's just a lot of shit. My Apple Watch is just up here. My boyfriend got me. And yeah so three of these have tops and the last one down here is empty that's for my boyfriend when he comes over any guests so they have one draw they can always put stuff in my closet rack and then I have a beautiful window which is kind of pointless because I'm on the first floor and so when you open up the blinds and everything everyone can see me it's the parking lot I don't know if you guys can see well but it's a whole parking lot right there so I don't want nobody seeing me <laughs> yeah you can just look directly into my room the lighting is amazing you see there's already a person right there so I don't ever keep the blinds undone I always have them up because I don't want nobody looking in my room when I'm not home or when I'm home so I don't know what's the point of that but anyways <laughs> I have a little couch area because this is an extra bed so I got extra furniture so I just moved this by my window and I use it as a couch it just looks over my whole room I should get some throw pillows and stuff but this is just for my college dorm I'm not gonna do the most and get a whole fucking you know laundromat and whatever because this is just a dorm it's not gonna be here forever so that's why I didn't get any pillows, but you could to decorate it. Just a little sitting area. Then I just have my, this is my homework desk. So overlooking it, I have the prom poster my boyfriend gave me. He gave me it with some flowers and I fucked it up because the flowers, they had water in the vase and I spilled it. So that's why it looks like that, but it's so cute. I didn't get Kanga needs a root until he explained it to me. But that's what he used to ask me to prom. I had to bring it with me. Mickey needs Minnie and Kanga needs fruit and I need to go to prom with you. I love my boyfriend. Anyway, so that's my school bag right there. Just my binder, etc. is in here. Just leave that on top. And this is just a desk lamp. I actually got this from Five Below, pretty cheap and it's really, really bright. So I actually use that for my lighting for my videos, but it helped I was using it last night and that is just where you can put your chargers that's what I used to charge my MacBook I love my MacBook case it's so cute it's from the Embry shop if you want to get it and then I have some tape and a stapler I usually use the tape for my eyeliner but it's desk essential so I just left it on my desk um, this is a rocking chair. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, you have to get used to it because I almost fell a couple times. And then here, I don't have a keyboard because I have a laptop, so I just um, have the case for my laptop there. And sometimes I'll just extend it out and then set my laptop on it just for 
an extra half an inch <laughs> and then I have three draws so this draw is just my supplies right here I have some tape right here packing tape um, some paper clips I have I have some staplers right here I have these hand sanitizer holders these are so cute from Bath and Body Works it's football season so it's a football one I don't have enough hand sanitizers but Halloween so cute and um, this is just for my pillow I just it's actually not from my pillow it's from my pillow but I use it to wipe off my dry erase calendar because the eraser usually comes with a pen and it's really annoying so in here I just have some papers right here any paperwork I might get extra ones and then I just have all my electronics in this straw this is where I carried all the cords in my Fashion Nova shoe bag it's so cute didn't have Fashion Nova I would definitely wear it all the time so then this area right here so this whole desk is for my bottoms I just put it in the middle and um, I don't know what to call it but I just keep my dry erase board right here it has a picture of me and my boyfriend and calendar I love love marking calendars that's just all the cafeteria hours um, I keep it right here it's a little messed up because it was supposed to go right up here but they only gave me one piece of fucking adhesive so it kept falling off so I didn't make that mess so I just left it down here because all through the night it was just falling and then um, my first day of class is the 27th wish me luck so this is just my orientation sheet what we're gonna be doing for orientation and I just keep some hand sanitizer right here I love to use hand sanitizer I don't know every time I come in the house I just always use my hand sanitizer and then I just have all these bottoms. I have a lot of pants. I have skirts, dresses in here. So over here, this is just my beauty desk. Okay, love my beauty desk. So that's where I sit the most aside from my bed. I have my glasses. I have some old perfumes right here. That's why they're like almost done. And then I have just have some lotions, little lotions. And then I have my keychain right here with my ID and this comes in so handy. This keychain was from Target and I recommend every college student to do it because to do it and get one, put their ID in a keychain because um, I don't know about every school but I know I can only access a lot of rooms with my ID and this is just my purse. The rest are in the closet but that's the one I use the most so I just keep it right there and right here is just basically this is the real beauty area so i just have my chair nothing's down in here so i have this right here this is storage for my palettes this is miscellaneous this is a brush holder my mom actually made this it was a water candle holder actually but we took out the candles and the water and the flowers and we just left the little stones we cut some of the I don't know what it's called but we cut that fabric and we just hot glued it and I just keep my makeup brushes right there um, have some powder foundations this is just all lip products I only carry two of my beauty blenders because the rest was irrelevant I have my eyelash curler, some tweezers. Down here is lips and eye station. So I have some little eye glitters, eyeliners, and same thing, lip liners, lip glosses down here. And then as we make our way, we have the nail station. So I always wear acrylics, but when they come off, I'll just do my nails because I really don't even paint my nails like that. I don't know why I have so much nail polish. I used to do my own acrylics, but I have this nail acrylic organizer from Target, I believe. And I just have a little acrylic finger, the first acrylic that I actually did. And then this is just where all my nail tools are, you know, nail cutter, nail file, cotton balls, etc. The nail polish are just organized by the shape, not by the color. 
and then that is just a um, remover right there and I have this beautiful mirror this is from Bed Bath & Beyond it lights up that's when like selfie lights were the big thing and like um what was it you know those lights from Sephora when makeup grooves were out that's why I got it so in this straw is just hair stuff this is just like the regular hair stuff I have a whole bin full of hair products but my bonnet that I sleep with every night my pink lotion my cones my wig caps this bottle just for water if I have curly hair or anything and just some regular brushes and hair clips just the regular stuff this is my jewelry I didn't make that stain <laughs> And I just didn't organize that box because I left my jewelry box at home. And then this is just extra stuff. I have some light bulbs for my salt lamps and some crystal elements because it's strong as fuck, but I don't have a bowl to put it in. So pretty much that's my room. I mean, under my bed, I have three bins. This bin is my hair product bin. And then I have two more bins. The next bin, I just keep any food products down here. Um, not any food like snacks or anything, but like utensils. So I have like paper plates, some to-go ketchup, some plastic cups, some plastic silverware. It's a lot, but it always comes. It came in handy yesterday. I ate s'mores and I warmed it up with the plastic plate and everything. And then, in this one, this is just bath essentials. I have some rags in here, some towels, some tote bags, extra deodorant, some extra pimple cream, extra face wash. So, that's pretty much my whole room. I hope you guys liked it a lot. Comment and subscribe, anything. And yes, this whole room was $1,500, so it's not cheap to have a single room. To be honest, it's a lot of space just for me. It's bigger than my room at home, but I love having my own room. If I had a smaller room, it'd be cool, but I like how I could just walk back and forth and shit in my room because my room at home is not that big, bitch. Okay, and I know a lot of colleges don't have single rooms and the rooms are small as fuck, you know. So this is everything. So this is my dorm. Like, comment, and subscribe.